Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the death walkthrough series today we are finally going into colossus boulevard so uh this isn't like a main quest but it's a pretty cool side area uh and i feel like it kind of matches the story so let's go ahead and talk to private o'doyle thank goodness the headmaster sent a wizard to aid us we could really use your help Strange creatures have taken over Colossus Boulevard. We don't know where they came from, but they eat everything in sight. We call them gobblers. I admire you wizards. My niece studies ice magic at Ravenwood, but I'm worried about her. She said she was doing some school project on Colossus Boulevard, but I don't know why she has to do it now. Would you go speak to her and see if she needs any help? Her name is Mindy Pixie Crown. All right. Mindy Pixie Crown. I remember coming into here. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot. Uh, this is one of the first areas uh, that you fight more than one enemy in a battle. Uh... Also, I know that you kind of fight two people in a battle in dungeons, but this one is where it's like on the streets. So, yeah. That's so sweet of my uncle to send you. I'm so glad you came too. I've been doing some ice research for Professor Grey Rose, but I had to stop. I really need your help. This is horrible. First the gobblers showed up and started eating everything in sight, and then these evil snowmen? They're all over the place. We must get rid of them, but there are so many. Hey, I know. Why don't you defeat some of them and see if that will chase the rest away? All right. Uh, I doubt that will actually work, but why not? Also, with two in a battle, that'll make it harder, especially since they have 300 XP or HP. That is going to be hard. Um, maybe I should try to get um, the new spells. I think I have new spells. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't gotten a notification or anything from any of the schools. Or from my uh, professor. Or whatever his name is. He's Malorn Ash Ashford or whatever his name was. Uh, the death teacher. Student guy that gives us spells I've I've not gotten a notification from him uh, my spell fizzled so that's perfect I can already tell these battles are gonna be a little bit more difficult especially the ones against evil snowmen because these guys have a lot of health and I don't know if I can actually do enough damage to them yeah, I keep fizzling. What the heck? Come on. Just hit. It's kind of difficult when you're not hitting. Also, uh, I just cracked open a can of G Fuel. I'm not sponsored by them. I'm sponsored by Swift Lifestyle, though. I just need a little bit more energy. I had a cup of coffee, but that didn't give me enough energy. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not sponsored by G Fuel. I'm sponsored by Swift Lifestyle, which, if you guys don't know already, that is my new sponsor. And you guys can pick up some Swift Lifestyle for 15% uh, off. I'm pretty sure that was the deal. Uh, using my code uh, and down in the description you can find the website uh, just make sure you use code royal898 at checkout uh, that is the first time I've actually been able to use my sellout <laughs> uh, also I am dying I need to do this you somehow survived which is unbelievable
but yeah, uh, also, I will also be, uh, leaving the code, or not the code, the link to all of their other flavors in the description, uh, because, uh, for some reason, I've noticed, uh, on their website, uh, publicly, it shows their three main flavors, which is Blue Sour Strip, Bubble Gum, and Cotton Candy. But it doesn't show any of the flavors that they have that are sponsored uh, to other creators. Um, if you don't know, uh, some select uh, creators that are sponsored by Swift Lifestyle uh, have their own flavors uh, inspired by them. Uh, there's only four flavors though, it's just everyone has a different uh, inspired by tub. Uh, and they have like a customized name and uh, customized look of the tub. Uh, the flavors that we have are... Oh, and I just died. Well then. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna fight the gobblers instead because I feel like those snowmen are gonna be really hard. <laughs> Anyways, the flavors that they have on their website uh, that they do not show but are the sponsor flavors are Fruit Punch, Blue Raspberry, Rocket Pop, and I'm pretty sure one of them is like a pineapple flavor or something? Right, the tub is actually peach, not pineapple. It was something with a pea. It was a peach candy. But yeah, anyways guys, if you want to pick up any of those tubs, the ones that are on their main website or the ones that are in the link in the description, uh, I would use code ROYAL898 to get 15% off your next order. I don't know why I almost said 75. That is not true. That is not true by a long shot. <laughs> yeah, I know that this is like my first time ever being able to sell out, uh, but you know. But yeah, anyways, let's just go ahead and get back into the actual game. Uh, so these snowmen, pretty tough. Uh, finally got one of them down. Uh, and I'm glad they actually reduced how many you have to defeat. You used to have to defeat three gobblers and three of these guys. Uh, but now that is not the case. You only have to defeat two of each. Which I think that is very helpful. Uh, so, yeah, now we can get this guy out of the way since I have the gargantuan uh, I don't know if that's gonna be very useful in the future like I feel like gargantuan is going to be helpful uh, against like bosses and stuff later on in the future but I might want to get some of those treasure cards of like giant and monstrous uh, even though those are kind of hard to get well, that didn't seem to make a dent in those gobblers at all. They're still eating the city. Go speak with Professor Grey Rose. Maybe she will know what to do. I'll try to keep their damage to a minimum. All right. Uh, let's leave a mark right here and go talk to Grey Rose. If I'm not mistaken, I think her voice actor got a uh, replace. I don't remember if they replaced him for like the whole game or if it was just like some of the newer things. Oh dear, I was afraid of that. It was an accident. I didn't mean to summon those gobblers and those evil snowmen aren't doing a thing to help. They're actually causing more trouble. The biggest problem with gobblers is that they're always hungry. Let's try brewing a potion to make them lose their appetite. The snowmen, we'll deal with later. Here is a list of ingredients for the potion. Take it back to Minty Pixie Crown on Colossus Boulevard. Okay. Yeah, that's the old voice actor right there. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure she got either replaced or fired. I don't remember. A magic potion? Excellent idea! I'll begin working on this list she gave us. I'll set up the cauldron for the potion here. Can you get the first ingredient? It's called stinkweed. You can find that growing right here in Colossus Boulevard. Go gather some for me. Okay, is there anything over here? Nope. But yeah, uh, I remember hearing about, like, the 
over 80, like almost half of their staff, it was either almost half or over half of King's Isle's staff was laid off, uh, which their staff team was like 200 people. Uh, and somehow, for some reason, like half of their staff, around half, I'm going to say around half because I don't know if it was above or over. Uh, so around half of their staff was left, was left, yeah, I can't speak. They were laid off. And I don't know why, but like they, it was like a 200 uh, group, 200 people were the staff. And I think I'm gonna change realms to get the rest of it. Oh wait, I got the whole amount of it. Uh, so I don't know why they got laid off, but 200 people and laying off half of your staff is like making it to where you're almost with no one working on your team. Uh, and a lot of those people were voiced actors, but I'm guessing they were also uh, part of the actual team. So, I don't Ugh, This stinkweed really does stink! I know I've lost my appetite! That's all I need. I'll brew the potion now. Here's the first batch of potion, young wizard. Hopefully this will make the gobblers stop eating. While I'm making more, go beat some gobblers in combat and make them drink the stinkweed potion. Alright, so we gotta go after these guys now. Different type of gobblers. So, I don't remember how long ago it was. It was pretty recent, I think, that the whole, like, layoff was, like, two years ago. Uh, and it wasn't because of COVID, by the way. It wasn't a year ago. I remember it was before, like, way before COVID. So, I think it was two years ago. Um... And I think they got laid off because they just didn't need them anymore. That's just what I'm guessing. I could be completely wrong. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they were in kind of a dry spot where they didn't know what they were doing with the game anymore. Uh, and they didn't think they were going to make any more updates or do anything. So they let half of their staff go around half. Uh, because they didn't know if they were going to continue. Uh, and as of recently, uh, I heard that they sold their company to another, another company. They sold their rights to another company. And I'm guessing that's going to help with the game more. Uh, I hear they're planning on reaching into the mobile uh like the actual mobile game because King's Isle is known a lot for uh, mobile games like if you've paid attention over the past couple years uh, they constantly make mobile games and they're not very successful and I feel like that's where they were kind of uh, missing out because they were working on all of these different mobile games that were kind of not doing so well when they could have been focusing on making Wizard 101 a mobile compatible game. And that is one of the rumors that has been started by the company being sold now, uh, which is that they're going to work on making Wizard 101 mobile. All done? Excellent. Let's see if the potion had any effect. I'm going to go out on a limb and say the potion didn't quite work. I don't want to bother the headmaster. I know. The Gobbler King lives in the large palace at the very end of the street. Maybe we can reason with him. I'll try to brew a stronger potion. See if you can make a deal with the Gobbler King to stop eating and leave the city. Alright. So we'll go on over to the end of the street. I'm gonna need some more mana too. I used my potion when I uh, came back here, so I don't have any more mana. Yeah, um, so I'm hoping that we get more updates soon. I doubt it'll be like very soon that we actually get the actual 
mobile game of Wizard 101, but I hear a lot of people talking about like um, Wizard 101 becoming mobile because of the new company. Uh, at least that's one of the rumors. Oh yeah, there's actually teleporters, so we don't even have to do this. So which one is... Pretty sure this one. Yeah, so here we are. Uh, do we have any more mana pips? I don't see them, but there's a smith right here. Um, yeah, there's like no more mana pips. Uh, I'll probably have to go get some more mana really quick, so I'll be right back. Alright, so I got my mana back, and now we can go into the tower. Now, there's the prince that we have to fight, and this is the guy that actually drops the heart steal. Um, but I don't need it because I already have one. You'll have to get past me if you want to see the king. So yeah, uh, hopefully I'll have enough. I'll go ahead and put two of these shields in, why not? Uh, and do I need any of these? I don't think so. Uh, hopefully this will be not as difficult as I think it'll be. Uh, let's put that on you. Oh, 600 health. Oh, that's gonna be a little bit tough. But uh, hopefully it's not gonna be too challenging. Scarab, that's all right. And now you have a blade, okay. Uh, let's put you there. Hopefully we can get a death blade soon. Uh, might try to focus on the or on the prince. Uh, no, I did not get that. Um, Let's just use another dream shield. Why not? Yeah, I, I don't really know everything. I don't know every detail about the whole King's Isle uh, firing people and then the transfer of companies. Um, all I heard about the transfer of companies is that they sold it uh, so that they could have like a little bit more help with their game uh, which makes sense obviously because uh, Wizard 101 is their money maker uh, and last time I checked I don't think many people are playing this game I think last time I checked there's only like 300 monthly players which that is not a lot it's it's like I feel like it kind of died out. I remember a time where it used to have around, I don't know, maybe like a couple thousand people and every realm, like the first, the full first page of the realms used to have like full of people, it used to be full, and then the second page would be some crowded, some normal, uh, and then starting to get into the perfect territory. And I feel like they would lie about it on their uh, commercials. I remember they used to say stuff like, with over 50 million players. And I'm like, that's, that's kind of a lie. That's nice that I got a make a uniform. Uh, but yeah, honestly, uh, I feel like they lied in their commercials about how many people played because I remember there being like over a couple thousand, uh, and now we're down to 300, around 300 people, which isn't a lot, but it's also not nobody. I feel like it's enough people that are playing uh, to like to not have the game completely die, but it's not enough to say that this game is actually still uh, not dead. Like, I feel like they need to do something desperately to get this game back to 
uh, being popular if they're going to. But if they don't, I feel like in the next two or three years, this game might die out. Uh, kind of like Pirate 101. If I, I don't remember how many monthly players Pirate has, but they have no updates. Last update I remember was probably like Valencia Part 2. Uh, we got a Hallowed Band. Uh, no Heart Steel, but that's fine. Uh, we will have to fight him again to get back through here to uh, talk to the Gobbler King again. A tiny wizard! But that'll Hello, happen. tiny wizard! Have you come to surrender your city? You want us to leave? Oh no! No, no, no! My people love it here! We shall call this city New Gobbleton! If you prove to be good servants, perhaps we shall let the tiny wizard stay in New Gobbleton. Here is my royal decree. You pick up the royal decree to take back to Mindy Pixie Crown. Right. Now we have to go talk to her about how he's not going to leave. Teleport on over. The Gobbler King wants us to surrender Wizard City? Big problem! Big problem! I can't believe the Gobblers are trying to claim Wizard City! We need to tell Headmaster Ambrose. Take the Gobbler King's royal decree to Headmaster Ambrose. See what he thinks we should do. One thing that's always bothered me is that she says Ambrose. It's Ambrose. Like, I don't know what script you're reading, but... Pretty sure AM does not say M. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's just me, but that bothers me. That bothers me. What? This decree doesn't even make sense. It's just pictures of ice cream and chickens drawn in crayon. Headmaster Ambrose shakes his head sadly. The gobblers may be a larger problem than we realized. I hate to ask. But you need to go duel some of them to test their strength. Oh gosh. That's gonna be tough. Uh, but I think I actually have a new spell. Now that I'm level 10, we can get the Banshee. Also, I can put on this loot that I got from that one quest. Oh, that hat is ugly. <laughs> Also, there's a quest for. As they say, no. Yeah, Once there, search this. around the graveyard for where the elder seer is buried. Remember, a graveyard wouldn't scare a death student, at least not a brave one. Yeah, so I'm gonna do this quest real quick, and then I'll talk to you guys after. All right, so I just finished that quest, and we got Deathblade. I honestly thought it was gonna be the Prism, but that is awesome. Uh, I thought it was 40 plus damage, but I guess they reduced it. Uh, but that's fine. But anyways, let's go fight the gobblers. This might take a little while, so I guess uh, If it takes way too long, then I might just make it a time-lapse. So Hopefully uh, If you guys see a time-lapse, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And if you don't see me until it's over uh, Then we'll just cut to when it's all done. Alrighty, that took not as much time as I thought it was gonna take, but yeah, uh, that was a little while, uh, so now we can talk to Ambrose. Good. Now that we know how strong the gobblers are, I have a plan. Please deliver this letter to Mindy Pixie Crown for me. Your hard work will pay off, I promise. Headmaster Ambrose hands you an official-looking document. All right, and now we have to go back to Mindy, and I have to. Mindy to... Pixie Crown reads the official-looking document. I think this plan will work. This plan calls for challenging the Gobbler King's two closest advisors, Baron Greebly and Baron Rotunda. Dueling isn't my strength, so you're the only one who can do this, young wizard. They're each hiding out in towers, one at each end of the street. Defeat them and see what the Gobbler King has to say then. All right, so I'm going to leave a mark. Uh, might need some more mana. 
eventually. Uh, but yeah, this could be a little bit hard. Uh, but hopefully I'll be fine. I have these blades now. Pretty sure these blades can be stacked on top of this blade. I could be wrong, but I also could be right. So I'm going to go with right and hope that I can do a lot more damage uh, with two more blades. So yeah, let's go on in. And here we go. Is it time for dinner yet? You look like you'd make a good stew. Get over here! Right, uh, life and life. Okay, so they might put up death shields. Which might not be very good. So I don't need that. Well, maybe. Well, it's already too late. But let's go ahead and put a blade up. And let's hope. Okay, we got one of these. So this will be easy. Because we already have a blade, one of those traps, and we already have a buffed up banshee. Uh yeah, this should this should actually be fine. We're fine. We are fine. Look at that damage. Oh. I I thought it was gonna be like 600 or so. That was a thousand damage. Holy crap. Haven't seen Leprechaun in a while. That's pretty nice. Pretty neat. And you're just pretty weak, so just goal will take you out. Alright, well that was easy. Let's hope the second tower will be just as easy. <laughs> All right, here we are at the second tower. You've Let's come see. to take away my treats. I can't allow that. To battle. Yeah, nice. An ice and an ice. So this is different. Uh, same amount of health. You have more health. Uh, don't need that actually. So I'll just blade myself, put a trap on him, and hopefully I can banshee. Um, even without uh, putting a gargantuan on the banshee, I don't think I'll need that, honestly, because this does 300 damage, 30% more damage, this one's 35, so I think he doesn't need uh, more buffing than this. Uh, so yeah, I'll just use banshee on him, and then I'll blade up and try to take out the other dude with a ghoul. Uh, if I get to the Gargantuan, then I'll probably use it on a goal, and then use it on him. That'll buff up my attack uh, by a lot. It'll definitely be useful against um, the Prince again. I didn't kill him though. That's kind of an issue. So maybe it did need the buff, or it just didn't go to like the full potential, it, like didn't hit at full potential, so. Yeah, uh, we have pixies, or dark sprites rather. And now I probably will have to buff the goal for the, the minion because he has a lot of health. And I have only three more mana, so yeah, I'm gonna need to do this. And use the trap on him. 380. Actually, no, he has less health than this with the blade, so we'll be fine. And if we're not fine, then we have a pixie. And then that's end of story. There we go. Blam. 
So yeah, we're going to need to get some more mana before we go into uh, the other tower. Alright, here we go back on into the castle for one more fight with the prince and one more uh, encounter with uh, the Gobbler King. So put you on... Uh, actually no, I'm gonna just buff myself and then hope for a Banshee and then use it on that guy because I don't want to have to uh, use a Pixie next round. Uh, so don't need you, put you on that. Or that on you. Whichever way it goes. And then... Hopefully we can get the Banshee next round. I think we can. Uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, just do that. And then you. And then he's dead. And then we just need to blade up and trap on the other guy the other guy and that'll be a good time to ghoul on here because he's going to be attacking me and I'll need some health so yeah now we're just waiting on the trap uh no trap uh, don't need you. Um, probably won't need you. Yeah, we'll just wait. Wait for a trap. There's a trap. And finally a ghoul. Alright, now that battle is done and now we just have to talk to the Gobbler King. And tell him we're not backing down. Ah, the little wizard is back. Are you ready to surrender now? You tell the Gobbler King about your battles with Barons Greebly and Rotunda. What? You defeated them? I find that hard to believe. I'll have to send someone to find out if what you say is true or not. Just as the Gobbler King is getting ready to call, a messenger breaks into the room. Sir, the two barons have been defeated by a student wizard. What shall we do? Oh dear, what you said is true. Then that means no gobbleton, a wizard city, is yours. Spare me and my people, wizard. We mean you no harm. I ask that we are allowed to stay here. Our old home was filled with witches, and we are too scared to go back. I promise we will not eat so much. You have my word. All right. Now we can go ahead and leave. Talk to Mindy Pixie Crown. Because apparently they're too scared to go back home. Amazing, young wizard. You have brought peace with the gobblers. You've done a great job. Be sure to tell Headmaster Ambrose what the Gobbler King said. Now I can get back to my project. Alright, now we just gotta go talk to Merle Ambrose. Talk to him about how we have some new gobblers in town. And that they're not gonna harm us. At least we hope. My plan worked! Oh, that's excellent news. You tell Headmaster Ambrose what the Gobbler King said about their home world. My, my. 
I certainly don't want to force them to go back to a world where they aren't welcome. Very well. We will let them stay on Colossus Boulevard. It appears we have new neighbors. All right. So I've honestly never heard anything about, uh, like, their home. Like, I don't think they ever talked about, like, where the gobblers came from. Uh, but I'd love to see, like, a new world uh, come out where it's just where they came from and we see that there's still some gobblers on their planet or on their world. And I'd love to see a story with that. That would be really cool. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but next episode, we will finally be talking to Bartleby and hopefully getting on our way into Crocotopia. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.